Hello YouTubers, this is 777.hard forever coming at you with another model. This is a highly anticipated and highly recommended one is that. Today you're going to be reviewing a Gemini Jets Delta Airbus A321-200 in a 1-200 scale model. And this is a collector's edition. That means they only made so many of these. So you probably want to hurry and snatch it up while they're still available. I purchased mine from Troy's Toys based out of Olin Park, Kansas. His website is www.troystoysinc.com. You can go there and see how about ordering this model. You probably want to get this model because it's going to sell out pretty quick. There are other retailers such as Waffle Collectibles, AirlineMuseum.com, and Easy Toys and other retailers on eBay that have this model for sale as well. Let me give you some information about Delta as a corporation how they came into existence as an airline and still operating strongly today. Delta was founded on May 30, 1924 as Huff Dial Industries Incorporated in Macon, Georgia. Then the company moved to Monroe, Louisiana in 1925, then commenced operations on June 17, 1929, then relocated its corporate headquarters to Atlanta, Georgia in 1941. As of 2016, Delta is the sixth oldest airline by foundation date and the oldest airline still operating in the United States of America today. The corporate headquarters of Delta, along with its main hub of operations, is located on the grounds of Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport, which is located approximately seven miles south of downtown Atlanta, Georgia. Delta also operates hubs at Amsterdam Airport Schiphol, Schiphol sorry about that folks, in Amsterdam, Charles de Gaulle International Airport in Paris, France, Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport located in Hebron, Kentucky, Detroit uh, Metropolitan Wayne County Airport in Detroit, Romulus, Michigan, John F. Kennedy International Airport in Jamaica, Queens, New York, LaGuardia Airport in East Elmhurst, Queens, New York, LaGuardia, I mean Logan International Airport in Boston, Massachusetts, Los Angeles International Airport in Los Angeles, California, Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport in Minneapolis, Minnesota, Tokyo Narita International Airport in Tokyo, Japan, Salt Lake City International Airport in Salt Lake City, Utah, and Seattle Tacoma International Airport in Seattle, Washington, and Raleigh Durham International Airport located in Cedar Fork Township, Wake County, North Carolina is also a focus city for Delta Airlines. As of 2016, Delta currently operates as a three-star rated airline according to the international airline review firm Skytrax Magazine. Okay, this is the front of the box you're looking at here, the Gemini 200 uh, logo decal, the Delta title and the de uh, their logo, the Sky Team logo right there. As I mentioned earlier, the collector's edition, the inaugural Airbus A321 service on May 2016. I'll go into details on that. I got information on that. The aircraft, there's the aircraft type and the uh, aircraft uh, model information as you see displayed there. And and this is the back of the box here folks, you know, all the information there and there's the Facebook, um, Gemini Jets did. If you're a collector and you don't have Gemini Jets or JC Wings for that matter as you like, you probably want to add them on there because they'll always inform you before it goes public about the upcoming release they're going to send down the pipe. And there's the 2000 Gemini, 2016 Gemini Jets uh, deal because it's my was released in 2016. Okay, this is the top of the uh, box you see displayed here. See the Gemini 200 decal. There's the information. This is adult collectible model. This is only for those that's 14 and above. Not recommended for those under 14. Anybody on the 14 probably need to go to one 400 scale start there. And this is the front of the box you see displayed here, the Gemini 200 uh, decal. And then there's the information. You can also go to their website as well. Now you're looking at the left side of the box. You see the Gemini 200 uh, decal, the scale type, the aircraft, the aircraft type, and the model information. And this is the right side of the box, same information as the left side of the box. Okay, folks, this is a snap-on box here. See more of the information right there. All right. Okay, now I'm going to snap this on here, the snap-on. And then that's 
there's the, uh, the pattern right there as you see there there's the tripod stand right there folks and then I'm gonna take the foam off here and there is the model folks voila okay now I'm gonna take this model out of the, uh, the foam box and everything let you get a better view of this okay okay folks this is the tripod stand I took it out of the box this is the tripod stand that came with the model and everything um, I'm not a big fan of them, but I'll do my best to put it on this, uh, put the model on the stand, okay? I'll do that later on in the review. Okay, with all that information out of the way about Delta, how they came into existence as an airline, the entire information about the boxing, the aircraft model and all that stuff, and the model stand, since there's no gear replacements for this uh, model, here is the model, folks. All right, there it is, folks. The Gemini Jets Delta Airbus A321-200 with the Sharklets in a 1-200 scale. Now, let me give you some information about Delta's uh, current livery. This is Delta's current livery, which is called Upward and Onward. This livery was introduced on April 30th, 2007, after the airline emerged from bankruptcy restru restructuring. This livery continues to honor Delta's past heritage while at the same time reflecting a modern look for an airline that is totally focused on overall customer experience. Now let me give you some information. Give, sorry about that folks. Let me give you some information about Delta's Airbus A321 with the Sharklets. This model is to commemorate Delta's first inaugural Airbus A321 revenue service flight, which took place on May 2nd, 2016 when it flew from the airline's main hub in Atlanta, Georgia and touched down in Orlando, Florida. Delta took delivery of the first of 82 Airbus A321s with the Sharklets on March 17, 2016 from Airbus's manufacturing facility in Hamburg, Germany with the first aircraft bearing the registration number N301DN became the first Airbus A321 to enter Delta's fleet and in the future, many of these aircraft will be produced and built at the new Airbus manufacturing facility located in Mobile, Alabama, thus becoming the fourth U.S. operator after JetBlue, American Airlines, and Spirit Airlines to operate the Airbus A321 with the Sharklets. As these aircraft, the Airbus A321 will replace the older generation aircraft such as the McDonnell Douglas MD-88s, and the Boeing 757s within the next five years, expecting all 82 Airbus A321s to be delivered and operate in Delta's fleet by 2019. All right, so with all that information out the, out the way, let's get down to the details and allow me to show you the information and details on this aircraft, shall we? Okay, we're gonna start at the, uh, the port side of the aircraft, the left side as usual, as you see the cockpit windows, and the windshield wipers, I'll give you a better visual of those later on in the review. And then you see the realistic uh, landing gears right here. And then there's the partial uh, nose gear door right there with the registration number 3001. Okay. And this deal right here, I have no idea what that is. If somebody can put that information at the comment section, I would truly appreciate it. And then this logo you see displayed here between the cockpit windows and the L1 door. That is, the, that is called the Scott Team logo. And Delta became a member of the Scott Team Alliance as one of the founding members on June 22, 2000, along with Korean Air, Air France, and Aerial Mexico, which consists of 20 airline members from five inhabited continents. Okay. And then we come over here, the red widget logo you see there on the right side of the L1 door. This is Delta's current logo and the modern updated three-dimensional red widget logo was unveiled and introduced on April 30th, 2007, the same day that Delta emerged from bankruptcy restructuring and at the same time continuing to honor the heritage of the most famous version of the Delta widget logo that was actually introduced in 1959. And then you see the Delta title right here across the uh, upper part of the fuselage. And then we come over here, folks. No inboard landing light there, though. Okay. 
Okay, now you're looking at these engines here from the side angle. These are the CFM56-5B3-P engines that Delta uses on this particular aircraft. The Airbus A321 with the Sharpets. Okay, see the gears right there as well. There's the cone right there in the back. I'm going to let you see the front angle of these engines. Here it is coming up. All right, now you look at the front angle of these engines, and sad to tell you, they do not spin, okay? They do not spin, so that's very disappointing, but other than that, it's still a nice aircraft model. Now I'm going to let you see the front angle of this aircraft as well. Okay, now you're looking at the front angle of this aircraft. You got a better uh, visual of the cockpit windows you see here, the windshield wipers right there, the nose. The gear lights right here, they bury there, but you can see them, but they there though. And then there's the gear, and then there's the partial gear doors here. No inboard landing light on the tail, and then there's the engine on this side as well. Okay? Now I'm going to take it back to the port side of the aircraft. There's more information to share with you on that side. Alrighty? Okay, now we're on back on the port side of the aircraft. You see the red navigation, the red navigation light here next to the blended winglet. Now, these blended wingers, better known as Sharpets. Now, back in 2009, Airbus came up with another creative name for these blended wingers, as you can see here, which the company called them the Sharpets, which is designed to enhance payload range performance, resulting in reducing fuel consumption at the same time. Air New Zealand became the first airline to have the Sharpets installed on their Airbus A320 aircraft back in 2002. Okay, you got an idea there. Now I'm going to take it back to the rear of the aircraft. There's more information back there. Okay, now we're back here at the rear of the aircraft. You see the, uh, the American flag. This flag represents the country where Delta operates from as one of the major flag carriers of the United States of America. And then we get next to the American flag, which is the registration number N301DN. Registration number N301DN. This is the first Airbus A321 with the Sharklets to enter Delta's fleet, and the first test flight on this aircraft took place on February 15, 2016, and was delivered to Delta on March 17, 2016. Delta ordered a total of 82 Airbus A321s to add to their fleet, and only seven are currently operating in service, and the remaining 75, which are on back order, are scheduled to enter Delta's fleet by 2019. Delta is one of 16 carriers to operate the Airbus A321 with the Sharklets. Philippine Airlines, Valeris, JetBlue, American Airlines, Etihad Airways, Condor, Finnair, Tomix Cook, Turkish Airlines, Latam Airlines, Eva Air, Air Berlin, Avianca, Spirit Airlines and China Southern are the others. Okay, we back here at the uh, rear part of the aircraft again. Where you see the Delta tail here, along with the partial registration number. Now this Delta logo here on the tail. Let me give you some information about that. The Delta logo that's displayed on the tail, as you can see here, it actually symbolizes this iconic logo pointing in a northwest direction due to the airline's merger with Northwest Airlines which took place on October 29, 2008 and was completed in January 31st, 2010. All right? Okay, now you're looking at the APU exhaust hole with the strobe light there. It's sad to tell you though, there's no hole in this APU exhaust hole right there another uh, downside of this model but other than that it's still a great model now I'm let you see the whole entire aircraft from the rear view angle voila there it is the entire Delta Airbus A321-200 with the sharpest from the rear view angle now I'm gonna take it on to the uh, starboard side the right side of the aircraft and finish sharing you more information on that side okay we're on the starboard right side of the aircraft where you see the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, the Sky Team logo, the Delta title, the red rigid logo, the front uh, bulk bend door, you have the front bulk bend door or the front cargo container door, 
and then you see the uh, CFM56 engines there on that angle and then you see the sharklet winglets on this side as well featuring the green navigation light right there folks now we're at the rear uh, the rear end of the aircraft on the starboard side where you see the uh, rear cargo container door rear boat bin door there's the extra boat bin door the American flag the registration number and the Delta logo and the uh, partial registration number on the tail as well okay folks before I show you the uh, bird's eye top aerial view of this aircraft and the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft I'm going to roll this model it does roll you see how it rolls very impressive and the gears tilt as well oh it's even staying in one place even more impressive okay so with that said, here is the aerial top view of this aircraft. Alright, let's start with the uh, aerial top view. We see the, the cockpit windows along with the windshield wipers. There's another antenna there. There's the anti-collision beacon light. There's the ADF antenna in 3D. There's another antenna. Another antenna okay all the little dot you see right there folks along over here as well okay as well you see it okay those are the illuminated lights that light up this tail when it flies during nighttime then we come over at the wings there's the CMF 56 engine here and then there's the uh, sharklet blended winglet over that side same over here as well the engine and the sharklet blended winglet on this side as well now we have the underbelly carriage under uh carriage belly view of this aircraft you see the aircraft type right there a321 and then you see the partial uh, nose gear door and the open nose gear door right there along with the nose gear and another antenna there and then you see right there the Delta uh, title and the logo underneath the belly here along with the anti-collision beacon light that's uh, put in between the D right there and the hole where the stand goes in at the Gemini Jazz logo another antenna there pressure relief valves right there and the uh, APU housing right there folks same over here as well the gears the engine underneath and there's the blended uh, sharklet winglets there there and the same over here as well the gears the engines and the uh, Sharklet blended wing is on this side as well. And this is the underbury view of this aircraft you see here, folks. Okay, since I showed you the, uh, the bird's eye top view of this aircraft and the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft and all the details that came with, that come with this aircraft, I'm going to put it on this stand here. I'm not going to keep it on there long because I'm not a big fan of that tripod stand. But I'll do my best of my ability to show you at all the angles, okay? Okay, I finally got it on the stand. Luggage is holding up pretty good so far, so good. Uh, I got it on the port side. You see the old aircraft on the port side right there, including the gears. You know, it's more like in a takeoff landing position right there. Now I'm going to let you see the front angle of this aircraft on the stand. And this is the front angle of this aircraft. You see here, the nice little CF-56 engine on the left side and the right side. And uh, you see the sharklets in its entirety, the whole aircraft in its entirety from the front angle. Okay, now you're looking at the tail cam angle of this aircraft. The whole aircraft from the rear view angle and the tail cam position. Okay. And finally, the starboard side of this aircraft. See the featuring the, uh, the sharklets, how it's flexing a little bit, but have you the whole Delta delivery on this aircraft pretty unique and pretty nice now I'm gonna go ahead and take this model off the stand and then wrap this model review up 
with the uh, seat and configuration and the way they use this aircraft or where they're going to use this aircraft on certain routes. Okay? Now the seat and configuration. The Delta Airbus A321 with the Sharp, it seats 193 passengers in a three-class configurated cabin layout. Now here's the breakdown, folks. From rows one to five, that'll be from here to about right here. You have a total of 20 first-class recliner seats. From rows 10 to 14, that'll be from here to about right here. You have a total of 29 Delta Comfort Plus seats. And then from rows 15 to 39, that will be from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. You have 143 standard economy seats, which brings a total of 193 seats. And finally, in addition to Delta utilizing the Airbus A321 to Orlando as to an inaugural destination, Delta currently employs this aircraft or will begin employing this aircraft on routes from its main hub in Atlanta to destinations such as Fort Lauderdale, Florida, West Palm Beach, Florida, Los Angeles, California, Tampa, Florida, which will begin on September 3, 2016, Fort Myers, Florida, which will begin on November 6, 2016, Jacksonville, Florida, which also will begin on November 6, 2016, Washington Reagan, which will begin on February 17, 2017, and Boston, and Boston begins on March 2, 2017. These are the routes, folks. Well, this is all I have for this model review. Please rate and subscribe and leave me your comments and suggestions. And see what I can do to improve my video quality. If you have any questions on other models for that matter, please post those as well. Well, this is all I have for now. Take care. God bless. There's more coming.